These are Mrs. Hall's brain MRIs. On the left is from 2011, where you can see the large white tumor in the occipital lobe. And on the right is from a few months ago in 2014. It's completely gone and hasn't come back. She came to me in 2011 and had, in her mind, beat breast cancer. Her scans have been negative, she was independent, doing great, and she thought, you know what, this cancer journey is behind me. I had recovered from my initial brush with cancer. I was feeling good, I was working full time. I noticed that I had difficulty concentrating, difficulty finding my words. I became slow on the keyboard. I actually thought I was cracking up, so I went to go see a psychiatrist, and my shrink of all people sent me to City of Hope. They took a brain scan, and they found a very large tumor in occipital lobe. As you can imagine, this caught her by surprise. Why am I going to see a brain surgeon when I have breast cancer? Initially, it was very frightening. The cancer was back, and I didn't know if I had the courage and the strength to go through it a second time. What is rarely known about brain cancers is that America has about 10,000 new brain cancers a year that arise from the flesh or the substance of the brain. 200,000, however, actually spread to the brain. So when you say brain tumor, it's more likely that a cancer sprouted in the lung or breast and eventually found its way to the brain. That's called metastatic cancer, and that's what I'm focusing on in my laboratory and in my practice. In terms of brain metastasis research, there really isn't much out there. And recently we've been seeing more and more breast cancer patients coming in. In the past, we never treated patients who had cancer that spread to the brain because we considered it terminal. But now that we've succeeded with drugs that were invented partly at City of Hope, people with advanced cancer are living longer and longer. At the same time, there's a lack of material to work with because we never did those surgeries in the past. So one of my scientists, Cecilia Choi, she's in training to get a PhD at City of Hope. She is actually working on the tissue that came from Joan Hall's surgery. Having these cells will let us, throughout the whole process, understand metastasis, and then at the other end, figure out what kind of drugs are going to treat these cells. We never studied this in the past, so a lot of what we're publishing, a lot of what we're working on, just wasn't known. And that's exciting to me because this is a, a new, clinically unmet need. I never expected to get my life back and to have lived as long as I have lived um, since I got diagnosed. It's been eight years. The feedback that I got from everyone that I worked with at City of Hope was that there were things that could be done. Dr. John Deal was my neurosurgeon. He gave me a lot of hope. I leaned on him. He let me lean on him. So, um, and that meant took the world to me. I figured if um, he was confident, I could be confident. 